One of the responsibilities that the brand owner has is to gather data on adverse events. So if someone purchases a product and has a reaction to it, a redness of the skin, for example, then the brand owner under the Modernization of Cosmetics Regulations Act must have on the label details of how the consumer can get in, in touch with you as a brand owner to give you the facts and the details of the reaction they've had. Now, if it is a serious adverse event, which is includes, I mean, things like death or life threatening experience, which for cosmetics would be very, very, very unusual. Um, but there are significant disabilities, incapacities, um, significant disfigurement they talk about. So rashes, burns, significant hair loss, significant alteration of appearance, under customary or usual use, then those could be classified as a serious adverse event. Those things that require maybe a medical intervention, maybe a medical intervention to prevent serious disfigurement um, or alteration of appearance, those would be classified as a serious adverse event. So you need to be ready to gather the adverse events have somebody review those adverse events for seriousness. And if they do fall into the category of serious adverse events, then those have to be reported to the FDA within 15 business days of you becoming uh, aware of them. So it is a very, very tight deadline, which again, for uh, manufacturers, for brand owners, which are outside of the US, is where the obelisk as, a, as, a, as your US representative with a domestic address, with a domestic telephone number, with the ability to gather this information and review it on your behalf, it's important to have that and have very swift communication backwards and forwards between um, Obelis as a representative and your uh, formulators who understand the, the ingredients that, then w that went in there and can be part of the whole investigation as to whether this may be a cause of the uh, adverse event which is being reported to you, all of that has to happen very quickly because we have 15 business days or you as the responsible person have 15 business days in which to report this to the FDA. Now, adverse event records need to be kept for six years. If you're a small business and they define small business as less than a million dollars um, turnover or gross annual sales over a three year period, which will be updated by inflation. If you fit into that category of small business, then you have to keep the adverse event records but for three years rather than six years. If you get new medical information on a serious adverse event, so somebody had a, sought medical treatment, told you about it, you've reported it to the FDA, and they, uh, the, the individual goes back for further medical treatment, or there are further material developments which you become aware of, Again, you have to update the FDA within a 15 day deadline, 15 business day deadline. So that whole uh, gathering the information, reviewing the information, reporting to FDA as needed, and then maintaining the, re the records with relatively easy access for inspection by the FDA is a whole work area which has to be um, ironed out because this needs to be up and operational by December 29th, 2023.